Hey everybody and welcome to Master Data Analysis with Python. In this video we find out what is Pandas. So Master Data Analysis with Python is a series of books and videos. There are three volumes and we're currently in volume one, Foundations of Data Exploration. And within volume one there are eight parts and we're in part one, selecting subsets of data. So if you'd like to learn more, please consider buying the book. It's 600 pages. Uh, 300 exercises, multiple projects, and detailed solutions. So the book is very comprehensive and not only gives you a way to learn from reading the text, but uh, contains a tremendous amount of exercises uh, and projects where you um, can practice uh, how to do all the data analysis. So what exactly is Pandas? Well, it's the most popular open source Python data exploration library that's currently available it does a number of data analysis tasks such as filtering, aggregating data, tidying, grouping, joining, time series analysis, basic visualization, and quite a bit more. So all of these topics will be covered in volume one in great detail. So why, why use pandas in the first place? Uh, well, number one, it's a Python library and Python uh, you know, currently holds the crown for the most popular a data science library. Uh, it integrates well with all the other popular data science libraries such as NumPy, Scikit-Learn, Stats Models, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. It's self-contained, so meaning there's lots and lots of functionality built into a single package. It's not necessary to uh, import um, other libraries to, to uh, do the analysis. It um, you know has a, a tremendous amount of functionality and which is why it, it uh, takes a long time to learn and takes a long time to cover. So Pandas does not do machine learning. So it is for you know understanding your data, uh, transforming your data at a basic uh, level, but not to do machine learning, which is reserved for other libraries such as Scikit-Learn. One great thing about Pandas is that the community is excellent. And in particular, um, lots and lots of questions have been answered on Stack Overflow which uh, I believe is um, nearing 100,000 pandas questions, which is really an insane number. So there's a lot of people that are good at pandas. There's a lot of people able to help. And um, you know, if you have a question, you can usually find the answer. So why is it named after an East Asian bear? Well, it's, uh, it's not. Its name just happens to collide exactly with uh, panda bear. Um, but it comes from the term panel data so, you know, pan and day, uh, you know, panda, pandas, um, smashed together. So panel data is a finance term for, you know, uh, rectangular row and column table data. So that's where it gets its name. Pandas is built directly on top of a library called NumPy. And it, you know, it heavily relies on NumPy to do lots of the, you know, uh, lots of the calculations. So NumPy is one of the uh, premier uh, libraries. It forms the foundation of many scientific computing libraries in Python. So um, not only is Pandas built on it, but many, many other libraries are also built directly on top of NumPy. So it's not necessary to know NumPy when you're first learning Pandas, but it can help and it will help. And there are certain situations where you'd probably want to use NumPy over Pandas. But Pandas um, uh, is, gives you a much easier interface to doing data analysis than NumPy. It provides many more tools than NumPy offers. So they are similar libraries, but um, Pandas is typically the one that will be used during um, most data analyses. And lastly, Pandas operates on what we could say tabular data. So I use the term, I just use the term panel data, but that's not a particularly common term. So this term tabular, um, which just simply has the same root as table, uh, uh, means you know uh, rectangular row and column two-dimensional data, just data that looks just like any other table that you're used to. So pandas excels at tabular data it is not good at three or more dimensional data. So that's a, a quick overview of, of what exactly is Pandas. 
And in the next video, we are actually going to uh, explore pandas and begin coding. So uh, follow me there. And again, if you um, wish to learn more, please consider uh, purchasing the book.